Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Extra special thanks to guest lecturer patron Ryan Lilly. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there, rulers. Welcome back to Ruler School and our first ever spoiler coverage for the new Argent Saga trading card game. We saw the first spoilers come out for the light intro deck today. It's not all the cards, but it does give us a good idea of kind of what light's mechanics style kind of would be. And it starts right here with Liam. So Liam, the trader of knights here, you can see the name, um, obviously the light attribute up here in the corner. It is our champion. Uh, and it says, if, if you destroy an opponent's tower, you can add a gear from your deck to your hand. And then once per turn, during either player's turn, you can discard a gear from your hand to give a unit an extra 500 power. So, let's talk about this. Clearly focused, all of light is going to be, at least the beginning, is going to be focused on gear. Uh, so these gear, I've played the light deck uh, in demos. The gear is kind of uh, equivalent to, um, think of it like augment you know if you're coming from force of will it's kind of like bestowed additions um they kind of go on to or old edition resonators i should say um when you play them you you pay for them and then they get attached to a unit and then when that unit dies the gear is going to go with them to the grave so liam automatically has a cool thing to be able to use maybe some dead gears that are in your hands to puff up just your units and also can be used um to grab gears from your deck seeing as every time you break a tower it also turns into a gear for you which is pretty cool our spirit being sola the light spirit having an affinity of eight which will come into contact if you want to do multi-color um, multi-element decks um, but not really important right now in just the intro era uh, says as a spirit at the end of your turn you can switch one of your exhausted units to active so this is really cool in the fact that you can um, take a unit who has done combat and swing uh, and then you can keep it safe by making it active at the end of your turn and then it has a soul burst which is where you burn the card uh, essentially give up the spirit um, and you get to put a knight unit token with guardian uh, it's a unit um, that has 2,000 power, it's a knight, it's light element, and then it has that ability to block. So this is pretty cool, especially since you can do it during either player's turn, so it can kind of be used as a last dish effort to even save yourself uh, from lethal, which I think is really cool. Next up, we have our first gear. So it's a standard shard sword, uh, costs one. Um, it's an augment gear. So augments are kind of the way to define these and then gear are a subset of augments. It looks like um, it says it equips the target unit. It gets 500 power and target attack. So it can attack any units, even those that are active. So that's pretty cool. Board control, very important because you only have five um, slots to be able to put units in. Then we have standard shard shield. Uh, personally, out of the demos that I've done, this shard, this gear has been my favorite so far. It equips to a unit for one and gives that unit guardian. And then as soon as that unit uses guardian, it immediately gets a thousand power. This seems really, really good to me when you combine it with the fact that you can use Sola. So you can like swing with something, uh, equip it with a shard shield, uh, and then recover it and use it as a guardian during your opponent's turn. That seems really, really strong. Um, at least in the early game here of getting started with Argent. Next up, we have our third piece of gear. It's a standard shard armor. Costs one, you can it to a unit. Uh, and if it would take any damage, you can sacrifice this card and prevent that damage instead. So it's a little bit of protection. This is also really cool when you consider the fact that you have guardians. So you can like double up on a guardian or maybe a unit that has guardian already, um, prevent the damage, trade with something that you, you know, do a guardian block that you might not normally want to, but you can kind of trade into it by burning the, the armor. Pretty cool. Um, kind of think that it's a little bit maybe not as good considering how Liam could just maybe discard it uh, and keep your thing safe from that much damage and maybe win the trade either way. Um, but it is cool to at least see that there's a variety of different gears. We have our first unit, Vi, the Giver of Light. 500 power, one cost, has an arrive, so this is when it enters the field. Uh, you get to burn a gear from your deck to the discard zone, and then you can also sacrifice her to give a light unit 500 power this turn. Um, seems pretty cool. Uh, I like the fact that she has only 500 power. Interestingly enough, in the demos, having units that have only 500 power is great for scouting out your opponent's uh, towers. So I think this is pretty sweet, at least for lights, kind of traditional one drop. 
Uh, and I'm sure we'll see some cards that benefit from having gears in the grave at some point. Then we have Corum Squire, one cost 1,000. Um, pretty cool artwork. It's a knight as well. Uh, it has a ruined effect. So this is, it seems like if it's destroyed or sacrificed, the sacrifice I think is important. You get to add a gear with cost one from one or less from your hand. So maybe we'll eventually see some zero cost gear. Kind of hope not, um, but who knows? Maybe there's like cost reduction or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just a pretty solid body. Uh, it would break shield. That's important to note. Um, it can break the air sheet tower. Sorry, it can break the air tower or the fire tower. But still, uh, if it would get killed, um, you get to go turn it into a gear. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the Corum Lancer, our first two drop. Two drop 1000. <coughs> excuse me, naturally has target attack. So if it attacks a unit, you get 500 power. So this is pretty cool for early game board control. You have this two drop that can like, seems like it can poke um, smaller units off the board and keep the board kind of clear for what you need to do. Maybe get rid of a tiny blocker um, before the thing that you really want to swing uh, has, you know, comes up against it uh, because of that bonus. Next, we have uh, another two drop, Corum Phalanx. Um, <laughs> I am a giant elk ready to go charging in um it's a two drop 1500 power that's pretty solid and it just naturally has guardian so that's pretty cool so it, it's cool to see that we at least have some natural guardians built into the light uh the light deck to be able to kind of and again with sola this is great 1500 power can break any of the towers uh so then you can like swing um maybe kill a small unit or destroy a tower and then recover it with sola so you have a, a, a guardian to be able to keep yourself safe from the crackback then our last card for tonight is our first Instacast card, Holy Slash. Um, you can tell that it has Instacast not only here, but also the symbol up in the corner to kind of quickly reference that it has Instacast. Um, and it's a two drop. It just says destroy target attacking unit. So it's a little defense spell. Um, yeah, and you can just kind of say, nope, I'm going to kill that thing. It doesn't have a requirement. It's just if anything is attacking. Coming from Force of Will, um, this is kind of like miscalculation, but it just costs one more, which I think honestly is kind of a better fair cost. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool to see that we're already seeing white have some kind of maybe some more conditional removal. So we'll have to see what else kind of comes when we get to the rest of the deck. Um, there is supposed to be more spoilers coming out tomorrow. It looks like we're going to do the light deck over two days. So we'll try to see if we bring you the second half of this video um, tomorrow, but uh, let us know what you guys think if you're interested in seeing more Argent Saga content here on the channel. I know we're looking forward to covering it alongside our Force of Will stuff, and if you're hyped like we are um, to try to finally actually get our hands on the game and do some feature matches for you. But until next time, though, this has been DMO73 telling you all class dismissed.